Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Paul, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about tech, consulting, and personal development. In today's video, I'll be talking about my favorite apps that I like to use on my MacBook Pro to help me with my coding and productivity lifestyle. Anyways, let's get started. So the first app that I'll be talking about for coding is Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code. This is my absolute favorite IDE, or also known as a source code editor. One, because it's made by Microsoft for building applications, and two, it's super user-friendly and is one of the easiest ways to get started in building your own full application. And it supports all sorts of different programming languages like Python, C Sharp, C++, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Go, Java, PHP. It also has some very powerful features like syntax highlighting, bracket matching, auto indentation, intuitive navigation, and debugging. Features like these really help me with writing code without really needing to worry about whether I mess up formatting my code or if I miss a certain bracket or a comma or even a quotation mark that could potentially break my whole entire program. Another feature that I really like about Visual Studio Code is that it has a built-in Git integration, meaning that I get to see the changes that I make in real time. And the other cool thing is that you can actually push, pull, commit changes without having to know all of these necessary Git commands, pretty much a safe way for beginners to perform code version controls. There are so many other cool features within this application like customizability. Check it out if you are a beginner or if you're interested in checking out other source code editors out there. So the second app that I use for coding is Sublime Text. Sublime Text is a more basic text editor with no sidebars or options to search for your files in your program. I know you're probably thinking, why even use this when VS Code offers so much more? Well, to me, Sublime Text helps with concentrating more on a specific part of the code. It is even more lightweight than VS Code where you can open files in seconds and get straight to coding. I use this when I need to write small scripts to do specific things like pull data from an API and save it to an Excel sheet. Or sometimes when I need a quick editor to test a syntax of a programming language to see if the logic works or not. And other case would be maybe I just want to copy a JSON object from the API request and check it out if that JSON object really makes sense. So as you can see, Sublime Text is useful when you need to do something quick, small, or specific. The third app that I'll be talking about for coding is Spark AR Studio, which is an augmented reality or also known as AR platform made by Facebook that allows you to more easily create AR features and effects for mobile cameras. So all those filters that you see on Instagram where you swipe left on the mobile phone and you get to pick a filter to distort your face or take those really cool quizzes, those are all made by this platform called Spark AR. So for me, I use this more for fun and not hardcore coding. It allows me to do some pretty cool AR stuff without having to know too much about AR and the math behind it. Pretty much a high level design tool for creativity. This tool is designed to be user friendly where it has a bunch of templates that you can get started on. Or if you have more experience in AR, you can actually start from a blank slate and apply your own logic. This logic is where your coding abilities can help make this process easier. For me, I created a fun little filter on Instagram about which University of California schools you're going to get into. And if you have time or you're curious about it, you can check it out in my Instagram filter page and I'll be linking that below in the description. Okay, let's move on to the productivity side. The first app that I'd like to introduce is called Todoist. This app is absolutely amazing and it's one of my favorite to-do checklist app out there currently. I've been using this app for the past two years and I gotta say, it has worked wonders and has been really life-changing. For years now, I have been trying different ways to get myself to be productive and to accomplish all the things I want to do, from writing down all the things I need to do on a piece of paper, to using the MacBook Reminder app, and even using more complicated systems like Asana and a Trello board. As you can tell, these methods really didn't fit my needs or change my habits. But this app right here allows me to still live my life without the constant fear of forgetting things to do or always having that stress in the back of my mind saying, hey, you gotta do these things right now. This app has so many intuitive features added onto your basic reminder app where you can set categories for each to do as well as a reminder and a deadline. It allows you to set recurring tasks so that you don't have to rewrite them every single day. And I know this can be extremely exhausting and which ultimately made me stop using the MacBook Reminder app. Another thing that I really love about this app is that it allows you to set priorities where you can prioritize things into five different levels. Where the first level is for more important things while the last level is for the least important things. This really helps me with knowing which tasks are more important than others and do those tasks first. Practicing this really helped me stay on track more and not get stressed out if I don't complete all the tasks in the given day. And so by the end of the day, I know that 
I would have completed all the things I wanted to do first and all the most important things. At the end of the year, they collect all this data and present you with your habits and see what days you are most productive, at what time, and how many tasks you accomplish on a given day. It really gives you time to reflect to readjust your working habits. The second productivity app is a journal app called Day One where you can write journal entries digitally. This app is also connected to your phone so you can access it across different devices. I really love this app because it really helps me look back at what I did and really helped me reflect and grow. Also, journaling has been scientifically proven to help with your mental health by reducing stress and anxiety. I tried journaling before by hand and to be honest, it took too long and that I wasn't motivated enough to do so. And plus, I know that I can type a lot faster than I write by hand. It also encourages me to write every single day too because there's this reminder notification within the app that notifies you when you haven't written in the journal yet. One other feature that I want to talk about is that it allows you to search for your past journal entries, which can be nice, especially if you forgot the date that you did something and you can look back at that time. So for example, if you made a purchase one day and you wanna make sure that you got the right date in order to get the right receipt, you can just type in the day you bought the item and just search it up and well, bam, you got that date. The last productivity app that I'll mention is Chris.ai, which is a free app that helps you reduce the background noise during video calls. I've been using this app for a while now, since the pandemic started, and ever since I started working from home. Homes can be especially noisy when you have other people working from home as well. This really ensured me that people on the other end of my Zoom calls would not hear noisy things like loud car noises or gardening tools outside. This really helps keep that professional vibe, especially when I'm presenting a demo to a very important client. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.